And we got LinkedIn Land, IG Land. Hopefully you're doing okay. Let me get this laptop going to make sure we don't shut down. How we feeling? How was your weekend? Second weekend, 2024. They say 2024. We're gonna get more, or we're gonna have more. <laughs> Are we getting more in 2024? Second week? Are you getting more? Talk about it. How we feeling? How we living? I feel like some people just rolled over, just rolled on into 2024. And 2024 looks look just like 2023. Is that how we feeling? Is that how we feeling? What's up, Danielle? Jackie's in the building. Rob's in the building. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Did we just roll over? <laughs> I think some of them, you ready. Robin says she's ready. I know that's right, Robin. I know that's right. I know that's right. Loretta's in the building. What's up, girl? What's up? What's up? You want more to it? Me too, Danielle. Listen, we got to get more, y'all. What we doing? What we doing? What's up, IG? We got I'm Classic. I'm the new classic in the building. What's up? What's up? I'm the new classic. I like that. <laughs> Jesse, what's happening? Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. If I haven't seen you or met you for the first time. Listen, we want more, right? In 2024. I like that. I like that. <laughs> Crystal's in the building. Look at Jay joining us. He decided to grace us with his presence. What's up, Jay? Where you been at? We need, we need, what Ricky say to Lucy? We, there's some splaining to do. There's some splaining to do. <laughs> What's going on? What is going on? How y'all feel okay? Let's do our one word. We ain't done that since in 2024. We haven't done that in 2024. Let's drop our one word. One word now. You only get one word. IG, one word. This is what we do. We're over on YouTube. If you want to come join the crew, it's a whole community of it's a gang gang. It's gang gang over here. <laughs> on LinkedIn, on YouTube, and Facebook, it's gang gang. If you want to come over here, just go to I am Kelly Jackson. You can search. That child is on all platforms. You can search her. But let's drop one word. 2024. Let's block out the distractions right now. Just block them out. I know a lot happening. I know a lot going on in life. Your life is life in with you. How you feel. One word, though, to describe just how you feel. It could be professionally. It could be personally. In this moment, right now, looking at me. It's just me and you up in here. How you feel. One word. One word. Let me see. Let me see. Hey, 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 Jay said, listen, Kelly, I ain't got time. <laughs> I'm building my business over here. I know that's right, Jay. Come on. Come on with it. Come on, Jay. Come on. Share with us. Because, hey, you might got some clients up in this uh, up in here. Talk to us, Jay. What, what are we doing? Listen, Derek said, I'm focused in 2024. I'm not playing with y'all. Y'all can go over here if you want to. <laughs> you can go over here if you want to. Derek said, I am focused. I'm focused. Hello, Kelly. Hello, all. Uh, first time. Y'all, let's welcome Fave in the building. Hello, my friend. What's up, my friend? You're going to love us. Ain't, I don't know if you she or he, but you're going to love us. <laughs> Get ready, because we love on you. You're going to love us. Robin said, I am refreshed. I like that. That's a good one. That's a good one. Sean said, reset. Ooh, I like that. Right, I like that, Sean, too. I like that. Janelle, challenge, talk to us. Janelle, come on. Come on. Challenge. Challenged. 
We got focused. We got reset. We got refreshed. We got challenged. We got transformation. Look it, look it. We were loving on you, Fave. What's your name? What's your name? We want to, we want to, your word is positive. So positive. Fave said positive, positive. I like that. I like that. Good words. Let's see what IG talking about over here. IG, what y'all saying? All right. Sun Sunila, am I saying that right? Says blessed over on IG. I like that. I like that. So now we got a gang over here on YouTube if you want to come over here, but you can chill right there. You don't have to. You don't have to. <laughs> but it's a gang of us over on YouTube. You can just search I am Kelly Jackson or just put my name, Kelly Jackson, if you want. What's up, IG? We got Olivia. Am I saying it wrong? Charge it to my, charge it to my head, not my heart. <laughs> but over on IG, they're feeling blessed. What's your one word, IG? Come on, come on. When you type it, it gets in your spirit. Just put it down. What's your one word? What's your one word? What's your one word? Let's see what else we got. What else we got? Oh, crap. I didn't move the thing. Okay, here we go. Loretta said expectation. Ooh, you know what? I like that. I like that, Loretta. I like that. Loretta said expectation. Oh, Fabiola. Ooh, I like that. That's exotic. I like it, Fabiola. <laughs> They call you Fab. Is it Fave? They call you Fave or Fab? Fab, Fave. I give everybody nicknames. <laughs> Y'all know how we do. We give everybody nicknames. I call Derek D. He ain't never told me I can call him that. He never said that. <laughs> Janelle said, yes, already. Laying in bed watching. Sick. Oh, Janelle. Mwah, 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 mwah. Hugs, hugs, hugs. Get better. We can't be sick in 2024. We want more, remember? <laughs> we can't be sick. Come on. Get you some um, orange juice, um, hot toddies, right? You can do non-alcoholic if you don't do the alcohol. Some tea. Load up, Janelle. Load up. A lot, a lot of liquid. Water. Just drink. You're welcome, hon. You're welcome, Fabiola. Yeah, feel better. Krista said, I'm not ignoring you. I currently don't have a word. Nothing is coming. That's okay. You know what? I like that you don't fake it. I like it. I like it, Krista. That's okay. That's just being real. That's just being real. That's okay. That's okay. Listen, y'all, I'm just glad to see you. I'm glad. You know what? Literally just glad to be here. You know what I'm saying? Y'all, I'm just glad to be here. That's my phrase. I ain't even got to. I'm like, Crystal. just glad to be here. <laughs> Look, C. Simone said, listen, y'all, I'm over here from IG. Blessed is her word. Y'all, let's show, is she? I'm going to assume C, but don't hurt, don't charge it to my, to my heart. Let's show her some love. Welcome, lo welcome, welcome in the building. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Go ahead, hit that subscribe button. We're here every Tuesday. We just hang out. We just hang out over here. <laughs> listen, y'all, I'm super glad that you're here. Listen, IG, again, you can come over, Kelly with an I. Um, Jackson, we're over on YouTube. Hit that subscribe button. Y'all hit the like button as well. Get to show your girl some love. Tonight, 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 tonight. Guess what we're talking about? Beyond, beyond being a good fit. How many of us have heard that before? Either through an interview. Most of it is going to be through an interview, right? Where you've getting some, got, um, you received some feedback that says you weren't a good fit. This was a huge thing in recruiting. I don't know about other recruiters if you're watching this or if I got any other recruiters in the building, but it was a huge thing because, well, I should say me personally, as a recruiter, especially when you build a relationship with a candidate, you're talking to them and you have to go back and say, you know what, they've decided to move on with another candidate. I had to make stuff up because I just didn't want people feeling bad because I had no concrete and some hiring managers are so stubborn, like decisions. And I would have to email and say, you know, is there any feedback? Um, you know, and I, most of the time I would say it was for me because if I said sometimes if it was for the candidate, they would ignore me. Could you tell me what I did wrong? I just make it seem like I did something wrong. And people always like to tell you what they did wrong. Y'all know I'm right about it. Y'all know I'm right about it. People don't mind telling you what they did wrong, what you did wrong. And so I would say, you know, please tell me what I did wrong with the candidate. This candidate doesn't have da 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 and doesn't have. And that way I could form a response to the candidate. And even internally, if, you know, somebody applied internally, I would work on internal positions as well. And they're, look, they're looking for someone that they really wanted to grow inside the company or knew already the culture and the process and procedures. And people would apply and they used to get on us as they should, as they should, right, about internal people not receiving feedback. At one company, it was a huge deal. And in hindsight, 
Because when you're getting pointed at, when you're getting in trouble, it don't feel good. But in hindsight, they were right. Because we treated the internal employees like, you know, you just didn't get it. You know what I mean? And we just moved on as recruiters. And that's not right. I can say that now. But when I'm in it and I didn't think about it, they would complain like we never hear anything. We apply for all these internal roles and never hear anything. So that's not right. How many of y'all have been told that you haven't been a good fit? Elizabeth's in the building. What's up, Liz? You see how I give nicknames, y'all? <laughs> What's up? Elizabeth might not even like that. <laughs> What's up, y'all? What's up, Liz? Yes, but sometimes being a person of color is automatically not a good fit if the culture doesn't look like us. That's sometimes. That's sometimes. But, you know, sometimes, sometimes. That could be the case sometimes, too. So we're going to talk about that. We're going to talk beyond being a fit because, and for my new people, if you're new here, we've been doing this, what, Robin, four years? What, Janelle, y'all? We've been here, what, almost four years, right? Rocking and rolling. And what we try to do is we have a 4E kind of mantra. We get the exposure so that we're educated, and this equips us to be empowered. So as long as you're exposing yourself to new information, that means you're educating yourself and then you're equipped to be empowered. So whatever we share here on Tuesdays, and it's a community thing, it's not a Kelly thing, it's a community thing because there's some, there's some, some sharp people up in this comments now, do not, do not, not get to know these people. I don't know why y'all don't be dropping y'all LinkedIn. I don't get it. I'm not going to say nothing. I ain't going to say nothing. <laughs> but it's some, I know them. It's some sharp people in them comments. Don't, don't get it twisted. But I digress. Um, so we want to have a place to go in our toolbox if something pop off. Right? So all of the, every time we get together on Tuesday, there may be a, a little nugget that you take and you put it in your little, your little toolbox, your career toolbox. Because if something happened, you're like, you know what? I know we talked about this. I know we talked about this. This may sting a little bit, but I know I got, I got a resource because I expose myself and I'm educated on this. So I know I'm equipped. Let me go in my toolkit and get what I need. So I always want you to walk away with something, something, right? And so that's what, that's what we're all about. That's what we are all about. What's up, Blinson? Yikes, Robin said. <laughs> so let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. So I'm going to share my screen and... Um, Let's, let's get it going. Let's get it going. We all right, y'all? We all right? We all right? Let's go. Let's go. Second week of 2024, we want more. My girl in the bed sick. Mm. Janelle, I'm sick. I don't like that. I don't like it. I don't like it, Janelle. I'm telling you. I don't like it. <laughs> all right. Let's talk about it, y'all. Beyond, let me make sure y'all can see it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Beyond being a fit, redefining this is not going to go well, I can tell, because I'm already choking. Hold on. Redefining success in the modern workspace. Let's talk about it. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Now, remember the old school way? Y'all remember pro probationary periods? This was a thing. I mean, this was a thing. I know some companies still have it, but uh, most companies do not. This was a staple in past employment practices was primarily a risk management tool for employers. During this time, the focus was on assessing whether the new hire could perform the job's basic requirements and adapt to the company's environment. This period was often marked by a one-sided evaluation where the employer observed and judged the employee's performance, their work ethic, and general fit within the organization. When I first moved here, Y'all know I moved from Illinois to Georgia. My first temp job was with Georgia Cable Television. I bugged the heck out of the girl that was kind of training me. And I was like, you think I'm going to get it? You think I'm going to get it? Oh, I was so scared. I cried. Y'all, And I'm just like, oh, my God. Like, as the days went on, I tried to do my best. Y'all had that feeling before. Like, I think we've all been there. We wanted the job so bad. I remember those days of being a temp and waiting to the 90-day probationary period to see, am I going to get hired on? And that was nerve-wracking. <laughs> Y'all remember those days? Now, that was the old school. Now, here's the modern approach to this, though. The modern approach to employment is focusing on the concept of best fit. This represents a more holistic and mutual evaluation process. This contemporary perspective goes beyond mere job performance. It encompasses cultural fit, 
alignment with the company values and potential for long-term growth within the organization. It's not just about the employee proving their worth. It's also about the company demonstrating that it is the right place for the employee's career aspirations and personal growth. Now, this is the modern approach, right? This is this best fit, and we're going to get into this. Let's dive deeper. So let's decode, because when we hear the term, we think about interviewing, and we think about receiving a, a letter or an email that says we weren't a fit. So let's talk about it. Let's talk about being not a fit. And so here's some of the feedback, right, when it comes to interviewing and why you receive that not a fit. Alignment with company culture and values. The company may feel that your values and what we're doing here, just to give some context around this conversation, is we're, we're looking at it from a different lens. And again, for my folks that are new, we want to look, we want to tap into different perspectives on things because often when we hear not a fit, we think it's personal. And I've heard people tell me as I talk to a lot of professionals that, you know, I'm, I feel rejected, right? And it, it really attack, attacks my confidence. But let's look at some reasons. So alignment with company culture and values. The company may feel that your values, your work style or interpersonal dynamics do not align closely with their existing culture. This is not necessarily a reflection of your professional worth, but rather an indication of how well you would integrate into their specific work environment. And so you may say, well, how can they assess all of that? Because that's my question. How do you assess all of that in a one hour interview? Typically, when you're in a panel interview, certain questions, they ask these certain type of questions to assess cultural fit. Right. And so they want to ensure that you you can align with their culture. But we're going to get into this further because to me, it's subjective, right? Another reason is adaptability and future potential. Employers often look for candidates who can not only perform the current job task, but also adapt to future changes. This one is key. Listen to me now. Because you, you, you want to think about, you know, as I'm reading these, if you're on the other side, Okay, how can I showcase this? What is a way for me to be able to showcase this if I'm speaking with the person that I report to now at work and they're assessing me and I don't really even know it? Am I showing up in a way that there's future potential for me? So don't just think about externally if you're not in a, in a uh, stage where you're pivoting or transitioning and maybe where you're working currently or maybe you're contracting or temporary and you're looking to be um, a full-time or you're looking to ev elevate, you are always being assessed, right? If they perceive a lack of flexibility or a reluctance to embrace new challenges and learning opportunities, they might conclude that you're not the right fit. Skill set and experience relevance. We talk about this a lot in here, right? While you may have the necessary skills and experience, the company might be seeking a different combination or level of expertise. This could be due to evolving job roles or specific needs that emerge during the hiring process. Again, take it off of you. It's not personal. It's business. You're not a reject. You're not a bad person. Right. It's it just could simply be you're not a fit for that role. So, again, it could be a combination of skills that they need. They not just need this. They need this and this. Right. Response to change or innovation. Companies often value candidates who demonstrate a proactive approach to change and innovation. If the interview did not sufficiently showcase your ability to contribute to a dynamic and evolving workplace, the company might decide that the fit isn't right, right? Team dynamics and collaboration is another one. The decision might be based on how well the company believes you would mesh with the existing team. Now, this is a big one. I heard this a lot from the decision makers. They assess you for the team dynamic. This includes considerations like communication style, collaborative approach and the ability to work effectively in their team structure. I had a position for, um, I don't even know what it was. Remember, I told this story probably a couple of years ago. She was the perfect fit. This lady was the perfect, per on paper, they were so excited to meet her. So excited. She got in the interview. 
she met with the, uh, the hiring manager, the person that she would actually be working with. And then she met with a peer who was on the team. And after she met with the peer, they decided not to move forward with her. And when I asked the hiring manager, why not? This lady is perfect. They came back and said she wouldn't be a fit on the team because she was too senior. So they look at the team dynamics. She had the skills on paper, right? She had the skills, but that woman was very confident. And sometimes a decision maker will look at the makeup of the team and see that this person may come in and disrupt what I've built, right? So you want to think about that. And these are questions you can ask before your interview. And also internally, you want to know the makeup of the team. Are there senior level people there? Are there junior level people there? Where would you fit? Where would you fit? Those are questions you can ask. The last one is long-term vision and goals. There might be a mismatch between your long-term career goals and the trajectory or opportunities the company can offer. Companies often see candidates who professional whose professional aspirations align with the direction in which the company is headed. So they may ask you, what's your five-year goal? What's your three-year plan? Oh, I plan on staying here and then I'm going to start my own business. They don't want to hear that. They want you, some of them want you to say, I'm going to be here forever, right? You got to know how to play the game as well. Now, what about a job loss? Now, this is happening a lot right now. So this is a good place if you want to take notes. I'm not saying this is going to happen, but the, what we talk about in the beginning of this, we always want to stay prepared. We want to stay prepared at all times. Now, this little fella right here, <laughs> he just got fired and he happy about it, right? It's going to sting, but we want to be prepared. We want to be prepared. Let's talk about it. Now, this tickled me when I, when I brought this up. I'm going to share with y'all. Justification for termination. The concept of fit can sometimes be used by employers as a vague reason to terminate employees for reasons unrelated to performance or behavior. Has this happened to any of y'all? Let me know in the comments. You don't, you don't know what happened. <laughs> you don't know why you got a disciplinary action. You don't know why you got a performance improvement plan. You don't know, right? This may serve as cover for cost cutting or personal disagreements rather than legitimate justification for termination. Check this letter out. Dear Kelly, this is this letter informed, this letter confirms our conversation today, stating that the company has decided not to continue your employment during the probationary period. And accordingly, your employment will end effective today. The company is granting you one additional week pay for your service due during the probationary period and your return of all company property, including keys, cars, equipment, and other company owned items under your possession, custody, or control. Now, this was back in the day. If you have any question with respect to this agreement, do not acknowledge this document until these questions have been cleared up to your satisfaction. If you do not sign this agreement today, the company withdraws its offer for one week of additional pay in consideration of your signing this agreement and your termination stands, as well as your obligation to return all company property, as mentioned in paragraph two above. If you have any questions, you know what, please feel free to contact me directly. Looking forward to your reply. I worked as with this company. I got a call. It was a deco. Y'all heard of the deco? It was a company and they said, this was back in, I don't know, I don't even think it was 2000 yet. They said, you know, we needed someone, I was HR rep at the time. They wanted me to come in and, you know, be HR rep. That's cool. I was excited about it. It was a little small company. The office was super little. It was a lady on the left in a cube. And then I would be sitting on the right in a cube. And then the boss was on the side, a big old office. He goes golfing every day, one o'clock. You don't see him for the rest of the day. Super small office. Went in there, the ladies, you know, trained, trained, trained me for a week. I said, you know, don't forget, you know, write all your passwords down and everything. And, you know, here's the passwords and here's, you know, the login information and here's kind of the work we do. And I was excited, right? Because they told me that, you know, this could be a, an opportunity for you, da, 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 da. Second week, she was going on vacation. And so, I, you know how you really want to prove yourself, right? The boss is going to be there. It's just going to be you and him. You want to do, I wanted to do a great, great job because, right, I wanted this to last. It was a perfect job, close to home, da, 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 da. Second week, she came, she comes back from vacation. Now, he was gone most of the week, golfing. He just went golfing a lot. And that was the thing. It wasn't a lot of work to do. So, you know, I had my water bottle, had all my stuff on the, my lunch pail and little stuff around on my desk. So she comes back on Monday. So I've been there two weeks. She comes back on Monday from vacation. How did everything go? And I'm like, it was great. How was your vacation? Da, da, da. It was great. Um, 
well, great, great. The day goes on. The day goes on. It's five o'clock or whatever. And she was like, you know, nothing really is happening. So you, you, you can go if you, you, you want to. I'm like, you sure? She's like, yeah, ain't nothing happening. I'm like, okay. So, you know, I thought it was a little odd just because everybody tends to pack up and go, right? And the boss was even there. And remember, I said he golfs all the time. He typically wasn't there. He was there. So I'm like, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and get out. I'm feeling good driving home. Get home. It's in the summertime. To show you how old this uh, job was, I went to my voicemail and the light was blinking. Clicked on the voicemail, put my purse down, put my bag down, and everything. Hey, Kelly, this is Samantha from Adeco. I hope you're doing okay. Just wanted to let you know that the position has ended and they will not be needing your services anymore. I'm not sure what happened, but we are on it. We're going to find you something else. If you have any questions, feel free to give me a call back. I immediately, I'm like, what the heck? the heck happened? So I'm calling, I'm calling. I'm like, hey, Samantha, this is Kelly. What happened? I don't understand. Oh, you know what? They just, you know, they just decided that, you know, they didn't really need anyone after all. And, you know, they didn't have enough money in the budget and da, 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 da. But don't worry, don't worry. We're going to find something for you. Hung up in them. And I was, I was, I was ticked off. I start thinking about it. I start thinking about it. I said, you know what? They wanted me there. So somebody would be there when this woman went on vacation. Oh, don't get Miss Kelly mad. <laughs> I grabbed my keys. Now, this was back in the day when there was no such thing as key fobs. They actually locked the buildings, right, with an actual lock. I didn't know how I was going to get in this building because y'all remember I told you that she said, make sure you had your passwords down because it all started coming to me as I was driving furiously back there. I'm like, oh, she wanted to be able to get in. Oh, she, they did this on purpose. They just wanted me there while she was on vacation. I grabbed my keys, my purse. I didn't know how I was getting in that building, but I was getting back in that building. I went to that darn, I got in there, I went to the building. Just so happened, I don't know if this was God or what, but the door was open because the cleaning people was there and they had it propped open with the garbage bags. I walked right by them. I went to my desk, Changed all the passwords, cleaned off my desk, made it nice and neat because I wanted them to know that I was there. I was so mad. Then a couple of days later, phone blew up. Hey, Kelly, this is Samantha. Listen, do you have the passwords for da 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 da? Never responded. So that's my story. So <laughs> I don't know if y'all ever been like that, but that was early on. Your girl didn't, I didn't, I didn't, you know, the pettiness is, is gone a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's talk about this job loss thing. Let's talk about the job loss. Listen, if something happens, right, and you don't get any, you don't, you don't receive feedback on, oh, you're just not a fit because it does happen. Sometimes you, you, they let you go and they don't give you a reason. I want you to understand that, recognize that sometimes you all, job loss due to fit might reflect broader changes in the industry or company rather than personal shortcomings. This is important that you put this in your toolkit because as we continue to evolve as a workplace and all of this technological advancements, advancements happen, I want y'all to tap back into this. Make sure you subscribe to the channel or wherever you're at, right? So that you can, you can watch and you can look and you can say, okay, it's not me. It's important not to automatically assume it's a reflection of your shortcomings or a failure to mold yourself into the ideal employee for your company. It's more probable that the issue is one of alignment. You may no longer be the right fit for the role. Y'all know how we always talk, and talk about um, upskilling and reskilling and being current and being relevant, having your documents updated, your LinkedIn profile, your all of the tools. These are assets. These are things that should be working for you. Your leadership team, people you report to, your presence online shouldn't know what you do and how relevant you are just in case. It in an economic landscape marked by instability and rapid change driven by technological advancements and shifting market demands, companies are often forced to quickly adapt and restructure. How many times have you heard or received an email? There is some organizational restructuring happening with us and Larry is no longer with us. We wish him well in his endeavors. How many of us have received those type of emails? Type me in the chat. If you're like, oh, wow, Larry's gone. Oh, Janet too? 
oh my gosh, Sarah and Jermaine going too? Right? This fast pace is fast, y'all. This fast paced environment means that what constitutes a fit, it can change. Sometimes leaving even competent employees on the outside. You can be competent and you can still suffer this job loss, but it's not personal. It's just the company. This is what fit should look like. So let's look at the concept of what fit should like look like. So we talked about job loss. We talked about interviews and feedback when we say not a fit. And the reason we're talking about this today is as we're out there, some of you for 2024, you want to look for external opportunities and or internal opportunities, you may receive that feedback that you're not a fit. It's not personal. It's not personal. I will also encourage you, ask for feedback, though. Ask for feedback. Hey, I appreciate you considering me for the role. Uh, I understand that you, you all selected another candidate. For my future endeavors or for future opportunities, is there anything that you could share with me that could assist me in the future? Something along those lines, right? You can, you can ask. Now, here's what fit should look like. Here's positive aspects of fit in the workplace. If they're looking for a fit, right, in this modern age, it should be around cultural fit. That's one, which refers to how well an employee's values, beliefs, and behavior align with the company's culture. Again, you're being assessed with this, on, assessed on this when you're in interviews. There's ways that they gauge how your values are, right? They want a person that, well, you know, how do you handle uh, multiple competing priorities? If you say, you know what, I just put things to the side and I just look at those things my boss gave me. Okay, so this person don't, you know, they don't do all day work. They just throw some stuff to the side. So they're assessing, is this going to fit with us? Is this going to fit? A fit, a good cultural, cultural fit can enhance teamwork improve job satisfaction, and increase productivity. Another positive aspect of fit in the workplace is a skill fit. This is about having the right skills and expertise for the job. Now, we all know this, right? We got to have the right skills. Employers look for candidates whose skills match the job requirements, ensuring they can perform effectively. We all know now that we have AI attached to the applicant tracking system. We looked at that. For those of you, you can go to the playlist on under AI and we talked all about this. The relevancy, right? We talked about having skills that are relevant. You don't want to have old skills on your resume or your LinkedIn profile. You don't want to have that. And you want it, your resume to be structured in a way that it complements the person that has applied. If they know Sheila, I know Sheila come in every day. She's polished. She's professional. She's articulate. But when I look at her documents, this is how she presented this to me. She's okay with giving me this and it has grammatical errors. I'm just talking about Sheila. She's not like this at all. But she gives me this document with grammatical errors or it doesn't align with the person that I know. You want to ensure that your documents align with the people, the person that they interact with, they engage with. You were okay applying, Linton applied for that job and he was okay putting it out there and there were, it was no structure to it. It was just one long paragraph. Don't just think you're going to put the skills on there and I'm going to get the job. There should be structure. It should be a story. It should be a narrative. It should talk about you currently, not a career history. It shouldn't have everything on there that you want. It should have everything on there that they need, the solution that you're able to provide. Y'all with me? Team fit. This is another big one. I just gave you the story of the lady. She had everything on paper everything. The boss wanted her. The boss's boss even interviewed her. But when the peer interviewed her, it was a no-go. They were not messing up that team. This aspect focuses on how well an individual works within a team. It's about interpersonal dynamics and the ability to collaborate effectively with colleagues. Here's the negative aspect, because we got to talk about it, right? It's not all peaches and cream. And we know that fit, sometimes they don't do this right. Some, it, and the term fit can be subjective. And sometimes it's a cover for bias. Decisions based on fit might be influenced by personal preferences or unconscious biases leading to discrimination. 
Now, we can't skip over this. We're going to talk about this, too. I'm not trying to paint a rosy picture that everybody should know what fit means. We know there are biases in the workplace. We know sometimes they're trying to cover up because they want to hire their friend. We know sometimes there's age discrimination. There's race discrim discrimination. I think somebody was, Elizabeth was uh, alluding to that earlier, right? And it could be subjective. We know it does happen. Somebody just might not like you for whatever reason, right? They may say, oh, Loretta, she's she too cute. We can't have her up in here. Oh, my gosh. I got a work husband. I don't, want, I don't want him looking at her. You know, people don't hire because of reasons like that. Exclusion of diversity. Overemphasis on fit can lead to companies unintentionally excluding candidates who can bring valuable, diverse perspectives and experiences. When you exclude diversity, now diversity is just not race. It's a broad term. Everything from women in the technical field, right? And, some, and men, right? Justification for termination, we just talked about that. Happened to me. Employers might use fit as a vague reason to terminate employees for reasons unrelated to performance or behavior, such as cost cutting or personal disagreements. As they're bringing on AI, right? And more people have to get in alignment with AI. And AI can do some of the work that some of us do. You may get a, a, a severance agreement, a severance note, right? I think Amazon, I think we talked about this. Y'all remember we talked about Amazon, they paying people to say, hey, you know, we'll give you two grand if you leave. You know, instead of us just beating around the bush, you know, here go two grand if you leave. We don't need you no more. People taking it. These are the, this is the modern workforce, y'all. So that's how it should look. But what we want to do, right, dynamic and evolving, the shifting concept of fit in the workplace, we want to evolve and we want to think about it as beyond skills and experience, because we hear the term, uh, we hear the term fit, and we think about interviews, and it's the negative connotation around being a good fit for a role. We want to move beyond the title of the presentation. The title of this live tonight tonight is beyond being a good fit. Because we don't want to take it personal, although it doesn't feel good. I know that. It's no longer just about having the right skills and experience. This holistic approach to fit ensures that both the employee and the employer can thrive in a dynamic and ever-changing business landscape together. That's what it should mean. That's what it should mean. What we think, y'all. What we think about this. Let me see what y'all talking about. What we think about fit. What y'all saying? Jay said, this is what I talk about all the time. Employers need to see your story fits in with their brand narrative. That's very true. That's very true. Hey, Jay Jennings, where you been at? Where you been at? <laughs> oh, y'all laughing at me. Y'all said I was petty. <laughs> listen, listen, I, 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 you know, I ain't too proud. I tell y'all, I tell y'all. I'm better though. <laughs> I bet it, but I, I grabbed them during keys. I'm like, oh, not, not today, T-U-H, not today. <laughs> Listen, we ain't talking about that, though. I'm better. I'm whole. <laughs> Listen, being a good fit, though, because I don't want you to take it personally. I hear, I hear often, often, and it, it does attack your confidence. It attacks your self-confidence, and I, and I know that. And at our big age, y'all, I talk to thousands upon thousands of professionals, right? And I know that it could chip away. It could chip away at us, especially if we, we want to do something different. And then we get to the point, we, we're scared, we're afraid, we're not sure. And we just stay. And we just stay where we are. And we hold on to what we got. And we settle. And y'all know how we feel about settling. We don't want to settle. Not at our age. Not at our big age. We want as much of life as we can possibly handle in a good way. And we're going to take it. We're going to take it right here to the chin, all the good and the bad, because that's what we do at our age, y'all. And I know some of y'all are not 50 and older, but y'all know that's, that's, that's my sweet spot because that's where I'm at, right? So I could talk, talk about it. We know that life, life's 
And that's what happens. And when we go and interview or, or pursue promotions or pursue opportunities externally, and it's not what we what we thought would happen because we have the skills, we have the ability, we have the capability, we got the experience, we have the education, we have the knowledge. And when it doesn't work out like we thought, because I have all this, I don't understand. I don't get it. I got everything. Why haven't I? Maybe you're not the right fit. It might be Loretta's so fine, they can't have her up in there. I mean, I'm joking, but sometimes I'm a little serious, y'all. It could be. Because at the end of the day, it's people that's assessing all of us. We assess each other. Y'all assess me. Right? We talk about this. Y'all wouldn't show up if I didn't know what the heck I was talking about. Y'all check me out. We Google everybody now. <laughs> right? We Google everybody now. So there are people. There are people that's checking you out. And so getting ahead of the game, right? And, and, and especially for us, in a demographic of 50 years of age and older. And on Monday, I'll be talking about this as well. I don't know if you're on my email list. I know you, you received the email, but you can go to imkellyjackson.com, Kelly with an I. On Monday, it's free. I'm going to be talking more to specifically to the demographic of 50 years of age and older, more about, you know, the trends and the things that are happening, some more red flags and some insights. So I invite you to join me on that. And I bring that up because, I don't know. It pains me, you know, uh, when I look at uh, when I talk to people and, you know, some people are vulnerable enough to tell me I'm scared at this point, you know, at this stage in my life, this point in my career. You know, I'm not real. Um, when it comes to interviewing, I'm not I'm not confident there. I'm not I'm not. I lack the confidence. Right. And I get it. I totally understand and I get it. And it just makes me dive deep. I was talking to a client and I was talking with her and I was sharing, you know, working with people all these years, it made me talk to a psychiatrist about, because I can give you the tools and all the things to do, right? I can, I can do that with my eyes closed. But once you get the tools and everything, if you don't know what to do with them or if you're afraid to use them or if you're not using them correctly, it doesn't matter. Or if you're, you're afraid to use them. And so if I'm going to, you know, coach people and guide people and just empower people, I really want to know because I love this so much. I dive deep enough to, to, to really think about the person. You know what I'm saying, y'all? Like, I see everything you got. I see it and I get so excited. And I'm like, this person is brilliant. But if you don't have the confidence, I'm going to talk about this on Monday. I'm going to show you a video of this, this lady. I'm already talking about it. She went, I ain't going to say nothing. Uh, um, 80%, you all, 80% of anything we want is confidence. It's in here. It's in here. And again, I know I say this often, but I, when I talk to people, I can see it. I can see it. That's why I jumped out here online. Because if y'all if y'all knew me personally, and I told you if my mom and dad was alive, they would be in shock. Because <laughs> I'm a true, like I used to shake talking to people. Shake, like shake. I was such an introvert and I was so shy. But I'm so passionate about us on the second half. I'm so passionate because I know what's possible. Because I did it and I walked the walk and it was very scary. But I was determined, determined <laughs> to have what I want and the freedom that I desire. I didn't leave Illinois the way I left. One day I'll tell y'all that story. I'm not there yet, but one day I'll tell y'all that story. And, I, and I, when I think, when I get scared and all of us can tap into this, when you think about, because all of us been through something. And if you're going through something right now as it relates to your career, you're in a toxic environment, you don't make enough money, you're not feeling challenged, you don't feel valued, you're not motivated anywhere more, you want to make a transition or a pivot and you're not quite sure. I want you to tap in, think about those other hard moments because at our age, we've had several and we made it. We made it into another year. My fear though, is that some of us just rolled into 2024. 
We didn't take a pause. Y'all remember that video we did on pausing? Just, just taking a look. Y'all remember the analogy I gave of Tom Brady throwing the football and the reason why he's so good because he scans the field and he takes a moment to set it up and thinks about the strategy. Okay, he's running right there. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to, right? We don't do that with our careers. We don't do it. We don't take a pause and like, let me think this thing through. There is no way I should be in this toxic environment. There is no way this boss or whomever I report, there is no way I should be putting up with this. Not at my age. There is no way I should not be making six figures. Let me, let me just pause. Some of us didn't do that. We rolled right into 2024. Didn't pause, didn't think about anything. And guess what's going to happen, y'all? 2025, we're just going to roll right into 2025 with hopes and dreams and desires in our head. And we're not going to pause and go for them. You have to, y'all. It's a whole, it's a whole attention-seeking economy right now. That's the current currency. You're not going to hear this often because they want your attention. That's why when I open my mouth, I got something to say. Otherwise, I don't. People say, why you don't do more podcasts? I'm a listener. I'm an auto. If I don't have nothing to say, guess what? I ain't saying it. When I put on my, when I, when you go to I am Kelly Jackson, it's that thing that, that you can take your score on communicating your value. When you open your mouth, is there something of value coming out? Are you empowering people? Or do you think before you talk and say, you know what? I really ain't got to say that. And I, I've had to do that. You know what? That's not going to help neither one of us. So I'm just not going to say it. That takes some strength. Strength with an F. <laughs> strength with an F. And listen, y'all, I don't always get it right. I'm here to tell you that I, I know that I don't. But I'm here to, to hopefully just so you can see that what's, you know, I, I don't even want to say what's possible because I'm still growing and I'm going to grow for the rest of my life. I'm still learning. I'm going to learn for the rest of my life, but I'm going to do something. That's for darn sure. <laughs> That's for sure. Let me see what y'all are saying. Janelle said, yes, I've been petty. Derek, you laughing at me. Loretta, you laughing at me. Sean said, me. Me, Jay said, this is what I talk about all the time. She said, this helps to stay motivated, just like in personal relations. One of one may be likable, but that doesn't mean everyone would like you or you. That's it, Sheila. That's it. That's it. Like Sheila said, let me put this up here, y'all. It doesn't mean that everybody's going to like you. And it don't matter. Everybody ain't got to like you. People don't like me. I ain't do nothing. I'm just me. But some people don't like that. When you can be confident and just be you. I ain't nobody special. Little girl from... Midwest town you ain't never heard of before. Just decided that I want more. And I'm talking to my people right here that want more as well. That's it. But I promise you, you have to do something, though. You have to do something. Just like Sheila said, it's just like personal relationships. Right? Loretta said, it's discouraging sometimes, but must keep pushing. That's it, Loretta. That's it. You've got to keep pushing forward. Fabiola said, that is my fear. 2024 rolls into 25 and I don't take, that's it. That's it. That's a lot of people's fear. That's a lot of people's fear. So it's okay. And I appreciate you being vulnerable. It's okay to be scared, y'all. I've been scared several times recently. <laughs> I've scared a lot, but, you know, going through it. One thing I learned in 2023 is I told y'all, it, it, it was all about faith for me. God was working on me with the faith thing. He has something for each and every one. You looking at me, I promise you, he has something for you. Your job, when they say, what's my purpose? What's my path? I don't know my purpose. I don't know. It's to go after him and so he can show you what it is. The thing is, when we have this vision in our head of what we want to do and what we want to be and what we want our title to be and what we want to make and where we want to live, what we want to drive, like I want a boat so bad. I can see it. I can see me on the water. I can see me driving. I can see, you know, I can see it with my glasses on, listen to my R&B, my old school. I like 90s old school. I can see it. I can see it. But one thing I know about God is he can let you see it, but he don't show you how long it's going to take to get it. <laughs> and he gonna tell you what you got to go through to get it. He's not going to do that. 
So if you got the vision, if you got the vision, that means it's yours. You have to go and get it. If you can see it, that means it's yours because it was put inside of you. You didn't make it up. You didn't make it up. When I started this whole thing, I told y'all, I was sitting out on my balcony. And I was so frustrated. Oh, my gosh. I was just sitting there, and I was just inside, my eyes closed, legs crossed, sitting on my yoga mat, just sitting there. And I heard a voice, and it said, it's in your hand. And I looked just like this. Don't nobody want to hear about recruiting? Don't nobody want to hear about recruiting? Don't nobody care about recruiting? I'm like, okay. All right, God, if that's what you say. I went to my computer. I went to meetup.com. Y'all done heard the story before, some of y'all. Y'all know meetup.com is when you move, because when I moved here, like, I ain't know nobody. <laughs> so I wanted to get out and meet people and learn. I'm from a small town. I'm like, okay, what do you do in big cities? What do you do? What, what do you do? So I went to meetup and I had joined all these groups for years. And so I organized. I said, I'm going to have a virtual meeting and I'm just going to talk about recruiting and, you know, hiring and resumes and LinkedIn and all the stuff I know as a recruiter. 250 people signed. I dropped to my knees. I'm like, they want to know about this? And as they say, the rest is history, y'all. So when I say it's in your hands and when I talk to some of you, some of my clients are on here now. I don't say it to try to get you to buy nothing. I don't need no money. I don't need it. The only reason people pay is because I know people that pay will pay attention and they'll be serious about it. It's not for me, it's for you. So when I say, I see it. And when I say that you can have what you want, it's because I did it. If I say it's in your hand, I mean it. Just like a doctor, I can assess, I can assess, I can see it. I'm like, oh, this is easy. Some of y'all didn't told yet. They were like, oh, you see that? I'm like, oh, yeah, we can do this. We can get you interviews in about, you know, 45 days. Yeah, we can do this. We can do this. And I know it's because you're too close to it. Because that was the same for me. That's what I said about recruiting. I'm like, I don't want me this. Every day, Saturday, 11 o'clock a.m., free. Every day. I did it for years. Did it for years. And I enjoyed it so. Y'all go look at my YouTube channel. Scroll all the way down. I'm embarrassed. It's cringeworthy. <laughs> but I leave it on there because I truly want to inspire somebody. Truly. Okay, I'm going to shut up. What y'all say? What y'all say? <laughs> was this helpful, y'all? Let me know. Hit the like button if it was helpful. Y'all share this with somebody. There's so many people that's in, in, you know, suffer in silence. They don't, you know, they're fearful. Just like Fabioli, Fabiola is saying. And I appreciate, you know, sharing and everybody sharing. I appreciate everybody sharing because people need to see that we're not alone. That's why this community is so important. Let me say this also. I mentioned the workshop on Monday. It's at 12 noon. If you're on the email list, y'all can y'all already got the link. If not, you can go to I am Kelly Jackson, Kelly with an I, um, and sign up. It's free. And I'll, I, it is specifically for 50 years of age and older. So if you're watching a replay, I'm not trying to leave you out. You're welcome to attend if that's not your age, but that's what it's going to be. I've been compiling all of this for maybe, maybe six months or so. And I, and I, I would say, should I do a YouTube video on this? And I don't ever want my podcast to be too long. And I'm like, on a live session, I don't want to keep y'all too long. So I'm like, I'm just going to do a workshop. So that's what it is. I got all this, but I have to get it out. <laughs> I don't want to just sit on it and things change because it's changing so fast. So this is information for people that are on the second half. Now, of course, if you're not, again, if you're watching the replay, I would never turn anyone away. I can't anyway. I can't see your age. <laughs> so come join us. And um, I got a lot to share. It's going to be good. It's going to be good. It's going to be good, y'all. What y'all say? It was good. What's up, Clifford? Where you been at? Where you been at? Jackie. Kelly says, speaking of that, I got the email and I 
tried to click on the register now button and the page went, no. oh, that is not good, Jack. Hold on, I'm gonna drop the link for you, hun, okay? Um, let's see, let's see. Oh, you know what? I forgot IG is on. <laughs> What's up, IG? I forgot about y'all. We're over on YouTube. If you wanna come over and join us, we're over here. I forgot about y'all. <laughs> That's not good. I don't think I'm supposed to say that as a person online, am I? <laughs> I don't think I'm supposed to say that. Oh, don't say that. Don't tell me that, y'all. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't tell me that. What is not working? That is going to really disappoint me. Okay, walk me through it, Jack. So you clicked on the, the button in the email. What did Jackie say? Let me see. Kelly, speaking of that, I got the email and I tried to click on the register now button and the page. Okay, so it was from the email. Gloria, you too? From the email? Or did you go to imkellyjackson.com? Let's go together. Okay, so it's the email. I can believe that. I can believe that. But let's go together on imkellyjackson.com. Try that. Try that. I'll resend the email too. Thank you. Y'all love me. I love you back. I love you back. Um, let's see, people. Okay. Y'all got any questions? We got a little bit of time. If you want to ask questions, I'm happy to answer any questions. Let me find y'all. Did I lose y'all? Lord have mercy on my soul. Where y'all at? Oh. I was going to say, I didn't lost y'all. <laughs> okay, let me, um, let's go here. Okay, if you go here, let's walk through it together. Let me see if y'all can see this. Okay, can y'all see this? So if you go to imkellyjackson.com, okay, we're going to click here. Introduction to, it's an introduction to career mastery, navigating trends, pivots, and success. You click on this. If this don't work, I'm going to be, y'all should have seen, I wish y'all could see me do videos because it's so funny. Okay. And then grab your seat. This is what you click. Okay. This, yeah, just do, go to I am Kelly Jackson. I'll resend the email. My bad. I apologize. I apologize you all. I'll drop it in the uh, comments as well. Was this helpful? Was it some takeaways? Can y'all put this in your toolkit in case you need to come back to it? I dropped it, uh, the link. Okay, y'all. Okay. Jay said, in my former life as a con contact center professional, we never read cover letters when we recruited agents. The new way to write resumes allows you to tell your story. That's true. That's true. That's true. You know, when we, we would mail, people would mail in their resume and put a cover letter on top, right? So that's what the cover letters are for. Now, when we create them, we use them for, well, there are some professions where it's good to introduce yourself. I feel like it's good to introduce yourself based on, um, and there's certain levels as well. That's one of the things I'm going to talk about on Monday is levels. Um, that's, that's huge. But um, you can also use what you would typically put on a cover letter. You can use that when you're sending a message like via LinkedIn, if you want to introduce yourself or even an email to somebody that you want to, to, um, to meet. Or if you're asking someone in your network to make an introduction for you, you can use that same kind of format of a cover letter to introduce yourself. Hey, I noticed that you're working over here as a, a director of operations. I'm in the market currently. Uh, I used to work at Pepsi and I see there's a few roles available there. I would love to um, share my you know, information with you. What's who's do you have a contact? What's the best way? Da 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 da, something like that, you know, and send it over. It sure isn't, Jay. It's not just um <laughs> Sean. Sean said, I remember, you know, it was important to have the type of paper. Ain't that something? We had to think about the type of paper. Oh my gosh, that is so true. That is so true, y'all. <laughs> Shy old school like me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just not about what you wear to an interview. There's so many things about being a fit. And I don't think we think about that, especially us, y'all, in our demographic, because it's been a while since some of us applied. And um, 
you know, gotten in front of decision is changed. The game has changed so, so, so much. And some of us need to, you know, dust off, dust off that resume. <laughs> some of us need to dust off our, our interview skills and um, really get in, get, get some practice done. And I know I have some conversations this week with some folks and we're going to, we're going to practice um, getting ready and preparing because the thing you want to do is stay prepared. You want to stay prepared. Look at the signs, y'all. You want to stay prepared for anything. Y'all saw uh, Mark, what's his name, the guy over Meta with that bunker? He ain't building that for no reason. <laughs> he not building that thing for no reason, y'all. We have to stay prepared. This is very little things that people won't even do. They won't update their resume. And I can scream it from the top of the heels and say, Absolutely go to ChatGPT. Let ChatGPT help you. But I'm going to show, I've already shown you. This is an impression that you're giving to employers. Right? They know that you're using it. Think, be strategic, play chess, not checkers. What you laughing at, Sean? All right, y'all. Hopefully this was helpful. Y'all share this. Y'all hit the like button. Um, get better, Janelle. Thanks, Fabioli for Fabioli. Fabiola for joining us. Are you on the email list? Click go to um uh what you mean for the show, for the uh for the event, um five. It's on Monday at noon, but go to I am Kellyjackson.com. And click on the, I think it's a second link. I'm going to, I'm going to send an email after, well, it's probably too late, right? I'll send another email tomorrow. When I send this replay out, I'll apologize for the, for the link not working. Thank you, um, Gloria. And um, who else told me? Thank y'all. Yeah. If you're on the email five, I'll, I'll, I'll resend it tomorrow. Okay. Or just go look below you right there and click on, I am Kelly Jackson. You can sign up that way. Okay. And y'all take the assessment so you know your score when you come into the event on Monday. That'll that'll help you as well because you'll you'll have greater context around um, the conversation as as well. Robin said, "My almost thirty year old supervisor is impressed that I am aware." See, <laughs> ain't that something, Robin? Almost thirty, determined to stay relevant. Yeah, Robin, she don't just talk the talk though. My girl is on it, which is why I love this community. Oh, I love you too. Yeah, we're going to get together. I've been thinking about it. I don't know where Tivy at because she's been on me. She's going to watch this and laugh at me. Um, we're going to talk about, oh, I didn't talk about the vision board party. Y'all remember we would talk about that. Now it's going to be inside the Facebook group. Here's why. Because I know some people are going to watch this and say, Kelly, I don't, even, I don't have Facebook. And I, let me tell you why. Because I just don't want to be the one sharing my vision board. I want everybody to share the vision board. Even if we got on Zoom, it's like you got to. You got to hold up so people can see. I want people, I want us to post it. You know why? So we can hold ourselves accountable. Now it's going to be next Sunday, not this Sunday, but next Sunday. I'm going to drop all the information in the Facebook group. A lot of y'all are already in there. And um, if you're not, I'll put that in the email too. Let me write myself a note. So if you're not, first of all, if you're not on the email list, go to imkellyjackson.com, click the first button where it says join something. That'll get you on the email list. What did I just say? <laughs> oh, vision board. Um, and inside the Facebook group, we can share. We can share with each other. We can share the vision board. And when somebody get out of line, we can say, remember that vision you had? You remember back in January? We got a whole picture. We got proof. We can hold each other accountable. We can hold each other accountable. So we're going to do it. I'm going to post the information in. Um, I'm going to do mine digitally. So I'll post that. And if you want to do yours just the regular way, you can also do that as well. But I'll post both kind of, I don't know if it's instructions, but information if you want. So, but first I want to make sure there are people that want to do it because we don't have to do all that if nobody want to do it. That's, that's fine. So I'm going to ask, maybe I'll do a little survey or something. Because I know we've been talking about it, but yeah, we can do it. And I think it's best to do it at the beginning of the year, right, y'all? Don't y'all think? You can't get to the page? Yeah, Janelle, wait a minute. 
Is it me? Is it Jan uh, Jackie? I was going to say share your screen. <laughs> Y'all see how zoomed out we are? <laughs> I was going to say share your screen. <laughs> Jackie, let me see who else was trying. Uh, Fab, did you try? Who else? Gloria? Is it showing? You never done a vision board? Yeah, let's try it, y'all. Let's try it. Let's try it. We always talk about it. We just don't do it right. Let's try it. Let's try it. Um, I'll put everything in the email. Okay, Gloria. Okay, Jackie, try another browser maybe. Try another browser maybe. Okay. I ain't going to keep y'all. Y'all know I can sit here and just talk. I talk like I'm talking on the phone. <laughs> All right. I love y'all. Thank you so much. Always coming out and supporting. I do appreciate it. Y'all share this. Don't let people, you know, our age, we don't, we don't really talk much. <laughs> we don't want to talk to nobody. We will stay in our little bubble. But there's people that actually really need our community. And we're a good group of people. Like y'all are solid, solid. I talk about y'all all the time. And we actually help each other and are here for each other. So if you know someone, just say, hey, come check us out on Tuesday. We're over here. Fab, you tell us. You tell us, Fabiola. What did you what did you think? Let's let's see what, what Fab thought about us. Not just me. I'm talking about the group. What do you think? Jackie said I'll try again in a bit, but I get no love. <laughs> Jackie gonna bust in. <laughs> You're gonna be a crasher. You're gonna be a workshop crack cra crasher. <laughs> oh no. I know, I know, Robin. We're gonna. That's something I was thinking about too. But I don't want us to be all over the place. But somebody got um, harassed inside of the group, and they were not happy about it. And because I wasn't familiar, I mean, I was familiar. I'm familiar with Discord because I've, I, I'm in other groups. But it just, you know, I, I have to protect because my name is on it, right? And I was paying for it, so I had to protect everybody. And I just didn't have time to kind of look into security measures. But I like Discord as well. I thought about WhatsApp though, Robin, but because I see there's a lot, I'm in some groups on WhatsApp as well, but I feel like we're all over and I don't know. I like Discord too, though. I don't have, even have an answer, <laughs> but I'm just telling you what happened. Yeah. 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 I know, boo. I know somebody always got to mess it up, but you know, listen, listen, we, we, you know, we ain't gonna let nobody one person ain't going to mess us up, you know, but I do have to think about everybody and, and making sure everybody's safe. Okay. Y'all, this is what Fab said about us. She said, I feel great. Like I, like if I have been for a while, I feel good vibe. you. Feel good vibe. Okay, good. I'm glad Fab. Y'all. We a good vibe group. We a good vibe. All right. I'm gonna let y'all go. Y'all sleepy. <laughs> y'all sleepy. Go night night. Janelle. Now you got to come back. You got to be, you got to be well. You got to get ready for the vision board. We about to party. We about to party. You're welcome. Karen. It's been a while. You back. Karen, back in action. You back. You back. You cooking. Oh, Fab is bringing food, y'all, to the vision board party. <laughs> what you cooking? That's that'll be fun. What can everybody bring? Look at me. I'm still talking. See, this is what I'm saying. I act like I'm on the phone with y'all. <laughs> That's good. Crystal said, I unfortunately have been sleepy all day. It is only 7 p.m. for me right now, though. I've been sleepy too. I was tired until I got on here. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I was so tired until I, I always get I get inspired. I get energy. I think I was up at four today, but I get energy talking to y'all. Fab, what you cooking? What are we bringing to eat, y'all? I'm, I'm, I bring the, uh, the plastic ware. <laughs> okay, good, good, good. All right, I promise. I'm gonna let y'all go. Uh, Janelle, listen, don't, don't make me fly. Where you at? Anyway, don't make me fly there and bring some hot toddy and some orange juice. Immune C, is that what it's called, y'all? Immune C. Don't make me. Oh, I haven't had any fried fish in a long time. Don't you do that, Fabiola. Oh, y'all know who make the best fish back home in Illinois. Y'all know the South ain't got no good food. Have we talked about that? Who in, who in Atlanta with me? Y'all didn't tell me there wasn't no good food down here. 
I would have told everybody that the South had great food and no good food down here. IG, we over on YouTube. It's a bunch of y'all. <laughs> Come on over. I, Kelly Jackson, Kelly with an I. Come on over. I be, I turn y'all on and then I have to look at another screen. We got Donna, we got Novell, we got Roger, we got Dennis, we got Mike. Come on over. You too. We about to hang up though. Sean, ain't no good food here. Gloria, I have been, I've been here for three decades. I've been everywhere. And everybody always opening up stuff. Now, experiences, yes. I've had some great experience. I'm just talking about food. Cause I like, you know, <laughs> I like, I like good tasting food. Today I did an order. I went to the wrong place because I just was so busy doing stuff. I ordered online and then I thought I where I thought that I was going to this place, got there, and they're like, we ain't got nothing for you over here. <laughs> I'm like, oh Lord, help me. I can't shade the South like that. Okay, Sean. Okay. Y'all gonna have to tell me. Gloria, you got to tell me then, because ain't no food down here. I ain't the only one. Keith Lee said the same thing. Y'all know Keith Lee tore Atlanta up. That Keith Lee tore Atlanta up. Y'all know that. Ain't see, Sean, Sean, we ain't nothing like Chicago. I don't know about New York. All I heard about was pizza. And I didn't really find anything when I did go to New York. I didn't, I was scared of New York, to be honest. But they were some of the nicest people. They were so nice. I was so scared of New York when I went. I went by myself because I was traveling through New York. I had to stay there for two days. I left my passport. I had tickets to a Broadway show. I had um, tickets to something else. I left it in a taxi. Can you imagine leaving your passport? I was on my way to Japan, leaving it in a taxi. And I stayed in Times Square. I stayed at the W. Is it the W right there or the Western is right there? And I knew my life was done. <laughs> my life was over. I didn't know. I mean, what do you do? Because I had to take, it was a connecting flight, right? I got a call from downstairs. A gentleman is here that has some information. I flew downstairs. It was a taxi cab driver, y'all. Y'all know me. I hugged this man, older, older Italian guy. I was in tears. I was bawling. I pulled out whatever was in my pocket. I don't know what it was. It was 20s or whatever. I was like, please take it. He, didn't, he wouldn't even take it. He wouldn't even take it. He said, I tell you what. He said, the next time somebody needs help or ask for something, he said, just do it and don't ask any questions. That changed my whole perspective of New York. My whole perspective. Can you imagine a taxi cab in New York of all places? It was sitting in the back seat. It was sitting right there on the seat. He brought it back to me, y'all. Now, I did hear, Janelle, I did hear Houston had some good food. I did hear about that. I do want to go to Houston just to eat. Oh, Clifford, I am close. I didn't think about Savannah. And I did hear Savannah had good food. I didn't think about Savannah. Oh, he went to the wrong restaurants, Gloria, Keith Lee. He did. He went to Old Lady Game. And I'd been there, and that ain't, that ain't, mm -mm. that is not good at all, <laughs> at all. I've been, uh, yeah, I won't even go. New Yorkers are the best. That, I mean, that story will be, will always, uh, that will be a memory forever. Forever, forever. Yeah, I haven't been to Savannah, and I'm close, Clifford. How many, I'm not far. Gloria, we're not far, right? Yeah, old lady gang is horrible. <laughs> it's horrible. Back in the day, we used to go to um, what's the things on Sundays, y'all? When they brunch, what's it called? Day party. Now the party was fun, fun, but the food was horrible. I was thinking because you know she did the show, and I thought her mom was cooking. I'm like, you know, thinking about you know a old woman cooking. She ain't that old, but you know what I'm saying. The food is horrible. Oh, that's not bad. Don't they do something for um um? We need to get a y'all want to meet in Savannah for um don't they turn the river Clifford Green? I've always heard that people in Atlanta always take a bus and go down there. I've never been. Now I'm not a drinker or anything, 
but I did hear it was fun, <laughs> you know? I do plan to get out more. I'm gonna put that on the vision board. All right, I'm gonna let y'all go because I think I'm on the phone <laughs> talking to y'all. <laughs> All right, y'all. We're gonna get together though. So y'all get y'all get y'all get ready. Don't say I didn't warn y'all. We're gonna get together because we have to. Like that's what we do. We have to. And it's gonna be fun. I've got ideas. I got ideas. All right, good night. Get better, okay? Don't you show up here sick? Put your mask on. Wash your hands, Janelle. Wash your hands. Don't touch nothing. No buttons on the elevator. No doors. Don't do nothing. Oh, you was down there, Clifford, a while back? Yeah, I heard of that. They used to take buses down to um, to Savannah and the, and the river turned green. All right. Janelle laughing at me. Wash your hands. Don't have me fly down there. I love y'all. Use Vicks, Robin said. <laughs> oh, you work from home. Okay. Okay. Loretta, look at Loretta. <laughs> Loretta not playing with y'all. Let me, okay, I'm finna go. I'm, I promise, I'm finna. Loretta said, we're going to get a private jet. I know that's right. Y'all get your coins together. Now, when I drop it and I say, because a private plane can take how many, Loretta? About 13 of us or 20. Don't y'all be playing. Get ready. Y'all think I'm playing, don't y'all? I already got the quote. I got the PJ ready, gassing it up. Me and Ricky, Ricky Rose. All right, bye. <laughs> Bye, y'all. <laughs> I'm going for real. Bye. <laughs>